Tomorrow, City Council will hear about an ordinance allowing electric vehicles to be permitted in certain parts of town. Yeah, you're talking about things like golf carts and beach buggies and even those electric scooters. Now, to find out more about that proposal, we're going to go over to City Hall this morning. Sunrise reporter Chelsea Torres is there. And Chelsea, uh, give us an idea of what all this might entail. Well, that proposal ordinance would be geared towards areas such as North Beach, Mustang Island, and pa North Padre Island. Now, in this year's Texas legislative session, they did uh, make some changes related to these vehicles, which would allow city council to regulate these vehicles as an allowable mode of transportation. Under certain circumstances, the operation of golf carts, neighborhood electric vehicles, and unregistered off-highway vehicles will be read in front of City Council as a proposed ordinance. We're having to work out what you can and cannot do since the state law that allows these UTV higher horsepower type vehicles uh, was just enacted. City Council member Greg Smith says these kind of vehicles can be used on beaches and should be allowed for the community. The big majority of the community would like to see this. Now, there's some people that are concerned about having the uh, faster vehicles on there. There's some safety concerns on, with it. Some residents on the island also have questions about safety. I even saw one driving down Whitecap the other day using texting them while they were driving white and white happened. That's a, I honestly saw that when I was passing cautiously by them. And other residents believe it can make transportation easier. I think it'd be a good thing. Um, people need to get around a little bit more. My husband's handicapped and it would be nice to have the golf cart to get around in more areas. If ordained by Corpus Christi City Council, these vehicles will have a posted speed limit of no more than 35 miles per hour. They must be operated during the daytime and they must have specific safety measures, including headlamps, tail lamps, reflectors, and mirrors. Now, the first reading ordinance will be set for tomorrow morning's City Council. The second reading ordinance would be set for next Tuesday on November 19th. Guys, I'll go and send it back to you in the studio. All right.